Well, hey gang, it's been a while since I put up a video, but today I'm looking at the feasibility of building my own tube amplifier. So I have one breadboarded here, and when I do this, I, uh, I use my own design. I don't copy off the internet or anything like that. I mean, if you look up the data sheets for the tube, they pretty much tell you everything you need to know, and you might have to do some calculations here or there. But you can pretty much, you know, if you have a little bit of electronic background, you can figure out how to put one of these together pretty easy. They're not that complicated at all. So here's the circuit. And I'm, I'm not going to put a schematic up because I'm sure I'll, I'll probably have to tweak it somewhat. And hopefully I'd like to uh, build a complete amplifier. It's all, with me, it's all a matter of money, so it's got to be done cheap. I already had these tubes and components, and I came into possession of these output transformers. And it says, Osgang Super Traeger. And I don't know German, but that's kind of phonetic pronunciation of that word. My YouTube buddy probably can help me out. I guess he might know a little German. I don't know. But anyway, that's one nice thing that's uh, available is this output transformer. I don't have to buy those since I have a pair of them. I'll probably take this board off if I actually do. It kind of looks ugly. but That's one less thing to worry about anyway. I don't have a proper power transformer. I'm using this from an old solid state receiver. It has two 120 volt windings and they're separate. So I'm using one for the line voltage and the other one will be for the uh, plate voltage for the tubes. Plus I'm adding the 70 volt winding to that and I'll have uh, about 190 some volts. And after filter and rectifying, it'll be 250 some volts. And of course, once there's a load on it, it'll drop it down. I would rather have more, like 300 volts, but I might have to buy a power transformer. I don't know. Here's the uh, power supply. There's the diode bridge, pie filter and this is the preamp stage filter and I just had some capacitors in my drawer a 22, a couple 22 microfarads, 350 volts and a 10 and these are probably too small I have to buy some but those aren't that expensive and a bulb tester when I first hook this thing up see what happens You'll get to see it if it does anything or not when I come back here and hook it all up. And of course, uh, if you do play with this stuff, you're working with voltages that are higher than, you know, supplied to your house. And it could be pretty dangerous, so you want to be careful with that. Well, I'll hook this together and we'll see what happens. Okay, it's all hooked up. Oh, Snickers wants to come and check it out. High voltage area, Snickers, stay out. Okay, here we go. That's normal. It dims out as the filaments warm up. I should hear like a buzz. I hooked this wire up to the input. I'm not hearing anything. I don't think it's working. It should come up by now. It 
It is not working. We have a failure. I'll have to uh, tinker with it and see what's going on. Okay, I found one thing. I had this black ground wire connected to the wrong strip on the board. No ground. It's not going to work. These boards always get me with these double rows. Always put one wire in the wrong hole. Let's see what happens now. Ah, oh, there's something. Take that wire out. Well, it's amplifying because I can get electrical noise and when I bring my hand near that wire it was getting louder but it sounded distorted so I might have wonky biases going on I'm gonna to have to adjust those and uh, again I'm running of course I got the light bulb in the circuit and the transformer voltage is kind of low so I will continue tinkering and measuring and see what I can get Okay, well I didn't have to adjust anything. I did put a 100 watt bulb in here. I had a 25 watt bulb before and I think it was just dropping the voltage too much. So the amplifier works. I do have to work on my power supply because um, getting some hum. But here is what it sounds like. Okay, sounds pretty good. I'm still going to have to check this tube. I'm not sure if the uh, bias is set quite right. It might be clipping asymmetrically. I want to get that adjusted. But it might be alright. I don't know. I just have to monkey around with it. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.